she was brought in by the uh, Knoxville Police Department, the uh, animal control officers, and she was in shock when she came in. Um, so she needed overnight stabilization to get to the point where we could even really address her wounds. Um, but it was pretty obvious uh, at the point that she was, you know, maybe 30 to 40 percent covered in, in wounds, at least on her ventrum, so on uh, the side of her body that would have would have crossed the pavement. Um, and then now we've just been uh, debriding the wounds, uh, which is basically removal of dead tissue. We've done that three times, and she needs daily bandage changes to try to um, get all the exudate and kind of stuff off the wounds while they heal. Um, but we've closed about 50 to 75 percent of the wounds so far. So she's down to much smaller wounds that are healing routinely. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get through this without a lot of major surgery in her future. I think she'll probably need one skin graft, maybe two, but, um, but she looks good right now. The first day that we actually worked on her wounds, it took about five hours. And the second time we did it, it was about four, and then three the third, and then now we're down to about an hour, maybe a little less a day. Um, and we're no longer under general anesthesia. Now we're um, actually under heavy sedation. So she really is making some pretty substantial progress. She's a wonderful dog. She's um, sweet, attentive. She always wants her belly rubbed. I mean, she's just, she knows that, that uh, things aren't, aren't going quite so well right now. When she's outside, she'd love to be able to run around. You can see it in her eyes, but, you know, she recognizes she can't do that, and she's just happy for every little bit of attention she gets. So she's, she's doing real well.